Hey book buddies! Today I'm going to be doing a book review on The Sleeper by Emily Barr. Sorry I have to hold it this close but my webcam won't pick it up otherwise. <laughs> the Sleeper is about a couple, Lara and Sam. They've been living in Cornwall for quite some time. Uh, they moved to Cornwall from London to start a family of their own. My sense of Sam's part just to be away from family, his own and Lara's um, I don't feel like there's a lot of, there might be a little bit of an accepting problem of him or something. He kind of wants Lara all to himself. So they've moved to Cornwall to start a family. They've been living in Cornwall for quite some time and they've gone through IVF treatment. They recently just had a miscarriage, which was the closest that they've ever gotten to having a baby of their own. And Lara, at this moment in time that we come into the book, is really unhappy in her relationship with Sam and she's I, I sense that she's missing her London life quite a lot and living in Cornwall she just feels so isolated she, along with the miscarriage I just feel that everything in their relationship she just feels is over and she just wants to continue doing her own thing and she comes along with a plan in order to get back into work into London in order to pay off their IBS um, bills that they've racked up so as they're now considering adoption well at least Sam is and um, she manages to get her job back in London but she has to be in London five days a week so she has to take the sleeper train, hence the name of the book, and um, she has to take the sleeper train from Cornwall to London. So she leaves on a, a Friday night to get back to Cornwall and then leaves on a Sunday to get back up to London. And through this she meets a group of friends on a bus who are doing the same commute as her and she has this nice, she builds a nice relationship and along with this she meets Guy and she starts to have romantic feelings towards Guy and although she's put her relationship with Sam to bed, her relationship with Guy from Guy and Lara start to build up a relationship and then one night after Lara gets really drunk on the sleeper train. She goes to Guy's cabin as she has been doing and she finds that Guy has been murdered. Lara thinks that her mysterious criminal past has now caught up with her and she decides to run away from the crime scene on the train and go back to Thailand where her criminal past has had started. So um, knowing, finding out all of this and Lara going missing, Lara's only friend in Cornwall, Iris, who she'd met previously, decides that she's going to go out and try and find Lara as she believes that she didn't kill Guy and she wants to track her down. Now this takes Iris on a journey to places that she hasn't been before and into a completely different lifestyle and opening up emotional wounds for Iris and a lot of heartache is in store for her. Now this is where a couple spoilers might come in so if you're not really into spoilers now would be the time to stop watching. Um, I really liked the aspect of the travel in this book. Um, Lara going back to Thailand and Iris sort of following her lead. I really like that aspect of the story. The travelling is really great. The um, description of the scenery in Lara's past is and the little huts that she stayed in with Rachel um, who and the sort of drug smuggling past that Lara was into. Um, the whole description of that time where she seems generally quite happy and brave and it's nothing like how she is right now where she seems quite sheltered and in or inside herself until she meets Guy of course then she sort of seems to be a more open person although she has to be conflictingly um, quite closeted as well because she's hiding this 
illicit affair that she's having and he also is hiding an affair because um, he has a family of his own, he has children. The whole travelling aspect is really enjoyable and I love how that's written. The only thing that I really had a problem with this book was the fact that Iris's relationship with her partner Laurie and that Laurie just seems to be a figment of um, Iris's imagination which sort of just came out slap bang in front of me and I was like really it sort of seemed a bit far-fetched because it, although I didn't expect it and that's great because those twists are the best the one that you don't see coming but it just seemed a bit far-fetched to me and I did piece it together and I was like okay a lot of things add up to this equation that he wasn't real but it just I just didn't agree with it but it it was a good read I think out of five I'd probably give it a three because it didn't grab me but I was interested I did drift off but I was interested it just could have been a little bit more focused and a little bit more thrilling part three where we find out who was behind Guy's murder I sort of came back into it but besides from that I wasn't really there um, so I'd have to give it a three out of five uh, thanks for re thanks for watching guys thanks for reading thanks for watching guys and I'll see you really soon bye <laughs>